Okay, so I thought I'd bring you the follow-up to my last video on how to become more successful, but I thought I'd try something slightly different this time, so here I am. Um, I'm not hiding behind some gameplay, I'm not hiding behind my microphone, it's just, it's just all me this time. To be honest, the real reason why I'm doing this, talking to you guys in this form, is because I took a look back at the last video, and I watched it a few times and I realised what a fucking dick I actually was. Who the hell am I to give anyone advice on how to become more successful? It's like taking marriage advice from a marriage counsellor who's been divorced three or four times. Would you really listen to them? No. <laughs> it just felt wrong, and until I watched it back, I didn't realise how much of a dick or how much of an ass I actually was. You know, it just felt like I had all the answers, I had the key to success, the key to life, the and it just, I took nothing from that video watching it back, so I didn't, I don't know, I just felt like, why would you guys take anything from it? So I want to apologise and try and correct some of them. And if you just listen to some of the stories that I guess I have to share, it would be much appreciated. And hopefully some of the stories you may relate to, and hopefully some of them might actually help. What I want to do is, you know, every piece of advice that I have to give to you guys, it's just my opinion. You know, they may not be right in some people's eyes, but what I found in life is until you hear it from someone else, until you hear someone giving you advice, have someone tell you that you can do it. Why the fuck would you not do it? Why are you holding back? It's only then that you think, yeah, maybe I can. Yes, I can do it. If you think it, if he said it, then I probably can do it. What makes that person think that you can do it? In my experience, I'll use my story as an example and hopefully you guys can relate to it. Now 10 years ago I was an extremely shy person. I was very backward within myself. I couldn't strike up a conversation with someone, even someone I knew. My heart would start to thump. I would, I'd be thinking you know, what to say, thinking and what to say, um, what can I say to be cool or funny. The problem was I was always thinking, you know, what they were thinking of me. Are they going to judge me? What's their impression of me? I didn't want to set a bad impression on people. What if I say something stupid? You know, that's that was me 10 years ago. Looking back now, my main problem wasn't a lack of confidence. I was a confident enough person within myself, maybe within my friends, but I just, there was something and it, I kind of realise now what it is, so this is what I want to, I guess, share with you guys. I was thinking negativity, I was thinking about all the wrong things, so that's why I wanted to, to start doing this series on how to change and become more successful in life or on YouTube or just successful in whatever you wanted to do. I wanted to help you guys help yourself because I changed for the better, I think. You know, I've noticed in life there's three types of people. There's people that think inside the box, there's people that think outside the box, and there's people that don't really think at all. People that think inside the box are those who just, I guess, get on with it, those who just do their day-to-day -day routine, plod along life, maybe not Perhaps they're happy. They're not really succeeding too much in life. Then there's the people that think outside the box. Those are the people that show incentive. Those are the people that show passion, a strive, not just to do well in life, but to do better in life. That go above and beyond. Now this is one thing that I really want you guys to take. And I, I was about 16 or 17 when I got this advice. I was pretty much a kid. And uh, my very first boss actually told me this piece of advice and it stuck with me for so long. He said, a person who knows how may always have a job and do well, but a person that knows why, that's the guy that has a chance to be the boss. Those are the people that solve problems, that never lack ideas, you know, have hope for a better future. You know, which type of person are you? Are you the person that thinks inside the box or the person that thinks outside the box? Oh yeah, and there's the third type, the non-thinker. The only one thing that a non-thinker concentrates on is themselves because they're not thinking on anyone else. 
I suppose we all know a person like that. So in my opinion, the first step on how to become more successful in whatever you want to do is to think more successful. And by that I mean is to think positive thoughts. Get yourself in the right mind frame. Over the next video or two, I'll help you hopefully with a few simple steps that I used in my life and how I've kind of used them in other people psychologically perhaps without them even knowing but it, it almost seems like I've manipulated them into my way of thinking but it it seems wrong it sounds wrong but it it, it feels like I've helped them perhaps without them even knowing say for example you're doing a YouTube commentary and you're racking your brain trying to come up with an idea or a topic good ideas rarely go out and find someone a good idea isn't just going to drop into your hand right now they're not going to fall from the sky if you want a good idea you kind of have to search for it it's the same with thinking if you want to become a better thinker you have to work at it you have to think better good thinkers always have ideas because they're always thinking the more positive thinking you do the better you become at good thinking and it sounds crazy but if you break it down you know those guys are always thinking and that's the main thing that I want to reiterate in this video that perhaps I didn't do enough the more positive thinking you do the better you become at good thinking it's just like anything in life the more you do you the more you practice at something you will eventually become good at it and will become second nature you won't even know you're doing it you won't even think about it Sounds a bit corny. I actually saw a quote once by uh, Albert Einstein, you know, one of the greatest thinkers of, of our lives. Um, and he said, I'm not going to say it in his accent. <laughs> he said, thinking is hard. That's why so few people do it. it. It's so simple, but it makes so much sense. It's like anything in life. You become better at something by actually doing it. So practice, practice positive thinking. And if you can't do that don't give up um, just cut out all the negative thinking in your life yeah that'll still work too uh, I think I'm gonna wrap this up because I'm just talking a lot about thinking here <laughs> hopefully I inspired you in some form please let me know if I did and I'll actually please let me know if I didn't um, I actually only thought about doing this commentary um, not that long ago so I didn't put much thought into it. <laughs> it sounds so weird me giving you advice on how to think successful but I thought it would work um, and I think it did. I've said the word think and thought quite a lot in this video. Um, there we go about thinking again. Um, so I might do this for the remainder. I might practice a little. Um, I'm not quite good at sitting in front of a camera you know please let me know if it if it worked for you I would deem this video successful if I helped one person in thinking better I know it may seem like such small simple steps but small simple steps work in life yeah it, it pays to think big but you have to think good to think big I may do uh, perhaps one or two more videos on this and have a few more topics I want to hit on and how to become a good thinker in a few ways and how to become a good thinker. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for listening. I know I've been rambling on and um, I have a bit of a cold starting so you'll hear the nasally voice coming through. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll go and have a, a lemon and tea or something now and ease my vocal cords a little. So yeah, thanks so much for listening and as always, I love you. Bye.